Hello everyone, I'm the creator of Arm for Battle for the Nintendo Entertainment System. The demo is now available at my blog, which is 1010how.blogspot.com. Again, that's 1010howe.blogspot.com. This is the first of four tutorials that I'm offering on how to play the game. And here we have the title screen with three options. I urge you to play around with those as they'll do different things. They will ultimately take you to the same place in the game, which is the level three scenario. Right now I'll get into that scenario. And here we have the commander screen, which the commanders exchange dialogue on, and you're also given a mission objective for the level that you're on. In this case it's Defeat Enemy King, but that mission objective will give a little variety with defeating enemy kings or forming alliances or gathering resources or finding hidden objects in the overworld. Right now I'll press the start button and we are taken into Castle View. In Castle View we have resources across the bottom of the screen. The resources are used for when you want to construct buildings or train troops and that sort of thing. We have food, water, wood, stone, iron, and gold. The first five resources are gathered in these locations down here. So moving the cursor down to one of these locations, I hit the A button to select a resource. Then I can choose the A button again for send worker. Uh, the cursor can move up and down from send worker to add ox and I have no ox at this time so it will give me a warning that I don't have any. Uh, pressing the B button will deselect that resource. And the final resource which is gold um, must be traded for at the village. With the cursor on the village the trade at village prompt will come up. I'll press the A button and I'm giving given a trade grid where I can buy and sell resources. The first three Wood, stone, and iron are traded 100 units at a time. The last two, horse and ox, are traded 10 units at a time. The rate of gold for the buy or the sell is indicated as you move the cursor around. Pressing the B button will deselect that screen. Um, here we have the castle. Uh, with the cursor on the castle, I can press the B button to access the overworld. Uh, this will be covered in another tutorial, so I'll go back with the B button. And I can also press the A button with the cursor on the castle. This will bring up Assign Battle Mission, Assign Scouts, and Assign Wizards. These are all overworld commands and they'll be covered in that other tutorial. So I'll press B to deselect that. And now I can move the cursor over to one of these 12 building locations. Um, Keep in mind that the, the prompt in the upper left will always indicate what the A button will do. It, it changes based on where the cursor is located. Uh, right now I'll press the A button for build and I'll be given 10 building choices. The cost of the building is shown on the left and these first four are troop buildings. The troops are used in battle view. Uh, pressing up and down will take me to other building choices. Here I have the workshops for making weapons, bows, swords, and catapults. I can press uh, up and down one more time, and I'm given the stable, storage buildings, and scout hall. The stable is where livestock are held. Storage buildings are used for storing excess food and water once they reach 999. Uh, the scout hall is used for making scouts. Scouts are used for those overworld commands when you want to map out the territory, find enemies. Um, you, you can send scouts to ally with the enemy and uh, view the enemy. So at this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bow workshop and I will build an archer guild. When construction has started, I can press the A button with the cursor on the building, and now I'm given the option to send worker. So I will add more workers to the construction site and speed up the construction progress. Um, I can also move the cursor up, and on the X it's the release worker icon. Tapping the A button two times, I'll release two workers, and once I deselect the building with the B button, those workers go back to the castle. Um, 
you can see the 49 workers at the castle. That's uh, where all your workers are located. Periodically, there will be a person that comes from the village over to the castle, and that will add more workers available for you to use. At this time, my boat workshop has completed building. Uh, in the case of workshops, one worker will stay behind and immediately begin production of that type of weapon. In this case, uh, the bow maker is making the first bow, and I can select the bow workshop and add more bow makers to speed up the progress bar, and more bows will be produced faster. Um, I can also move the cursor up to release bow maker, and I can actually bump that down to zero, releasing all the bow makers from the building. At this point, construct or the production will stop. I will add that bow maker back into that and continue the process. Um, with the case of uh, bow workshops and sword workshops, resources will automatically deduct when every bow or sword is made. Um, deselect buildings with the B button. And this archer guild is still in progress. Uh, I only had one worker constructing that building, but I'll speed that up by adding more workers to the construction. Um, I will, in, I will uh, point out that the B button will make the cursor bounce back to the castle and the reason for that is to quickly access the overworld screen. Um, again, the B button will access overworld, A button will give you the commands for the overworld. And now my, my archer guild has completed building. Uh, with troop buildings, they use a queue because they're trained one at a time. Right now I'll get a few units added to the queue. You can see the meter bumps up and these archers will be trained one at a time. Once the training is completed, another worker goes over to get trained. The queue meter bumps down and another unit is added to the building. Uh, most important thing to mention on this tutorial is that the start button in Castle View will initiate an enemy attack. Um, I urge you to make some troops before you do use the start button in this in this Castle View. I added that to the demo so that you could quickly see what an incoming battle will look like. Uh, that concludes this tutorial. Uh, there will be three more added and thank you very much for your support.